Hey everybody, in this vlog, I'm going to cover two things. Number one, somebody asked me, what about Swift, Apple Swift versus learning C Sharp, and I guess C Sharp, ASP.net. Uh, yeah, very quickly with that, it comes down to, again, number one, what type of work you want to do. So if you're doing Swift, basically you're just going to be doing iOS app development, basically developing apps for iPhone which could be very viable, could be a lot of fun. And I believe Swift can also be used to create apps for Mac OS, although I think very few people will be doing that relative to iOS development. And then with C Sharp, most of the people, are, you're gonna either be doing .NET development, most of the time web apps with ASP.NET, or you might be writing games in Frameworks like Unity, I think, is one of them that uses C Sharp. So, again, it depends on the type of work that you want to do. The languages in of themselves are both great languages, although C Sharp is a lower level language, meaning there's more you have to do in terms of the amount of code that you write to get things done. But as a result, you have more control over... Uh, how your app works. And that's not necessarily a good thing because a lot of times you don't really need all this fine-grained control that these lower level languages will give you. And what, I, what do I mean by lower level language? I mean uh, closer to the CPU, although both C, C Sharp and um, Swift are not exactly uh, low level languages. They're highly abstracted languages, if you will. Anyway, nerd details. So again, when you're choosing your language, these days all kinds of languages are very, very cool. They're very neck and neck in terms of their abilities. Some will be a bit better than this, in this and some, be, some other language, languages will be a bit better at that. That's clear. But at the end of the day, which language you choose, you choose to, uh, to learn and work with depends on the type of work you want to do the uh, type of jobs that are available in your area. So before I would dive into C Sharp or dive into Swift, I would look at what the job market is like for Swift developers in your area, for C Sharp developers in your area, and then also really understand the ecosystem around the languages. Understand the ecosystem around Swift, what it means to be a Swift developer, and that, that of course is iOS, and what it means to be a C Sharp developer, that typically means .NET development, web apps many, many times, and perhaps uh, some game development with Unity. Although I don't see a lot of opportunity in terms of work with Unity development relative to say, writing iOS apps or writing web apps with .NET. Also recall, if you see my other videos, that if you're writing .NET, you're probably going to be working for larger organizations which implies a different type of structure than if you're working for a smaller company, which is much more loose, much more uh, hipster, uh, or perhaps working as your uh, solo developers. I, I don't see people getting a solo gigs working for a small business as a C-sharp developer. I could see that to a certain extent with Swift development, building small iOS apps for uh, small businesses out there. Although, if your ultimate goal, again, to be a freelance developer, I say the lowest barrier to entry, of course, is PHP, WordPress development. And I'm not saying because these are the two greatest technologies ever invented. No, because it's just it's a huge amount of opportunity because, uh, I'll say it one last time, WordPress has about 30% of the websites out there based on WordPress. And I would bet you that small business websites, I bet you, I wouldn't be surprised, 60, 70% of small business websites are based on WordPress. So these small businesses will very, very likely will love to work with independent developers or WordPress professionals. And they're desperate to find WordPress professionals to help them configure, create themes, modify themes, change some basic functionality in WordPress, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're desperate because PHP, though it's so popular, and WordPress, though it's so popular, they're not sexy. So it's kind of like uh, plumbing in uh, the construction industry. Plumbing 
is highly, highly valuable. Plumbers basically print money because it takes some time to learn. People don't want to learn it because it's hard. And uh, so plumbers, when you become a plumber, as a friend of mine, it's just like, pff, they make all kinds of money without even trying hard. And you're gonna see the same thing with WordPress professionals, WordPress developers, because the developers don't wanna do WordPress work because they don't, they don't like it, and because web designers don't wanna learn WordPress, blah, 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 and there's a huge amount of websites, small business websites that run on WordPress. There's a lot of people, uh, a lot of demand for that. Supply and demand is just basic economics. Anyway, yeah, so Swift, C Sharp, both great, great languages. Depends what you want to do. So a little news, I uh, was going to, I was slowed down a day because I was cooking some chicken and I, I did a real number. I don't know if you can see this. I burnt the crap out of my hand and I, I literally could not sleep all night. I don't know if you can see the scarring. And this happened just last night. I couldn't sleep because of the pain. It was intense. So I had to like basically keep running my hand under ice cold water or put an ice on it. And so... I ran out and I bought myself the best cure. The best cure for burns, by far better than any medication I've ever seen in a drugstore, is the aloe plant. You cut it and you're gonna get this gel and you just put it right on the wound, right on your burn. It has amazing impact in terms of uh, its uh, medicinal properties. All these gels and stuff that you see in the drugstores for burns, they all use tons of aloe, but it's all derivative. It's small percentage. Go with pure aloe gel. Can't beat it. And this plant is like dirt cheap compared to the medication as well. So you get a much better uh, cure than the gels that you get in the drugstore. It's cheaper and it's, it's, it's a really amazing stuff. I'll let you know how it goes. But uh, last time I burnt myself, I put some of this stuff on. It was immediately immediate re relief from the pain and it helps it heal so much more quickly so there you go not only nerd tips from me but home remedies bye bye